the South Carolina Youth Wind Symphony in our 14th season. Our guest conductor today is Mr. Joshua Arts, one of the band directors at Stratford High School. Uh, really enjoyed getting to know him more this weekend and more through our association uh, with the Charleston Wind Symphony in which he uh, performs. And he's going to conduct the first number. Would you please welcome to the stage Mr. Joshua Arts.
Before I turn it over to Mr. Arch for the rest of the program, I would be remiss if I did not recognize our counselors for this weekend, CSU students, mostly in music education, but also we have a few music minors who also perform with the band. They are scattered uh, hither and yon, but I would like to at least call their name and make sure they're recognized. Delaney Kramer, Euphonium, in our uh, band and a music therapy major. Keely Perry, Wildlife Biology with a music minor and piccolo and flute player in our group. Tori Cowart, clarinet, music education. Landon Bailey, saxophone, currently student teaching in music education. Corey Van Horn, music education, tuba player. Zach Kubitz, clarinet player in psychology. Kristen Bullock, violin and percussion and flute, music performance major. Johnny Amato back in the booth, currently student teaching um, uh, in Berkeley County in music education. Let's give these folks a hand. And thank you. Sarah Gray, come on on stage, Sarah. Uh, she was a blessing and a godsend. It happened at the right time to be with her family in town. She's a senior play, who played clarinet in the Allstate Band, but happens to play piano very, very well, and she'll be playing piano. I'm sorry I left your name off of the program, Sarah, so I wanted to recognize you personally. How about a hand for Sarah Gray? <laughs> notes and Mr. Arts will be back to direct the rest of the program.
Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Joshua Arce. I'm one of the band directors at Stratford. Uh, definitely an honor and a privilege to be asked to do this this weekend with your students, with your kids. Uh, they were excellent to work with from Friday till now. Um, the last two pieces are over a, uh, over 300 measures in them. So to do those on a an honor band weekend, only four rehearsals is, is definitely a pretty phenomenal feat to do. And um, Definitely happy to do that with them, and I hope that they definitely enjoyed it. My goal this week in was to try to provide music that none of the students have played before, and I was a success except for eight students that played the dance song. So it was really nice to be able to provide music that they've never played before, um, and it was nice to revisit some music that I've done before with some other students. So uh, they were a fabulous group to work with. Trumpets, let's go ahead and uh, start coming this way. This is for you to transition, yeah. Um, our last piece is going to be something really special to feature uh, the trumpet section. A lot of these students uh, either made all stink band or were like first or second chair in their region. And this is just something that is so special for the trumpets to do. Usually when an uh, ensemble does this, does this, they do it with just three solo cornets. Um, but we're going to do it with the entire section. So this is called Bugler's Holiday by Leroy Anderson. Everybody in the room has heard Sleigh Ride in their life. Sleigh Ride is that Christmas tune. Leroy Anderson wrote that, but he also wrote this too. So this is a Bugler's Holiday with the entire uh, Skywis uh, trumpet section. So we're just going to make sure they get some time to set up and they'll maybe play a few notes. And then Steele, uh, wave to the audience. Steele is going to start the piece and they're just going to play it without a, without a conductor for you all. So this is basically our, our encore finale piece for you um, with the, the trumpet section. So. Uh, Give them a hand and then we'll get started.